Hello everyone, Lucy Shadow here today with Hogwarts Legacy. We're doing this at like 4 in the morning, so I'm trying to keep it down so I don't wake up my girlfriend, who's right behind me, who has to wake up in like 5 hours. Nope, 4 hours. But I realized I had no Hogwarts Legacy for today because I'm kind of dumb and forgot about it. It happens. Alright, we're going to get into this. Sorry, I'm just a bit... It's been a lot. I'm kind of tired, but meh. Uh, let's figure this out. Where are we? Oh, yeah. Oh, fruit. Um, nom, 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 nom. Ooh, tea. Um, nom, 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 nom. And spin the globe. Alright, let's head down. Which way is the common room? I don't know. Which way is the common room? Why don't I just start shooting stu students? Hold on. I'm gonna go find some students to blast. Really? Hmm. Oh, come on, that's me. All right, this way. Let's go to where we need to go. Why is there a weird student up there doing like flips and stuff? Have a sip. Go on. Oh, a Weasley. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. An alcoholic. <laughs> Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Hmm. That must be nice. It must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Nice meeting you. <laughs> oh, it was nice meeting you, Gareth. And thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. All right, two more people to, to introduce to. She gets bored How do I talk to you? I can't wait until I'm a sixth year. Then I want to find the hope of a professor catches at this time. Oh. A professor could arrive any moment. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower from the outside without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> Dang. Dang, girl. I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true about the dragon? Uh, why did how does you all know about the dragon? I barely know about the dragon. I was there. It's true. Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. I want to call a dragon attacking me, uh, very, uh, thrilling. I've seen you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. You never know. Bye for now. All right. Well, that's enough talking to her. Let's introduce ourselves to this lady. I really thought I had it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ah! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it no. true that you're no. Professor Fig's protege? Uh, study with him a little. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! 
I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Hmm. I'll show you. I'm Don't sure worry. you'll get it. Don't, Don't worry, girl. You got oh, this. So. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. I wish you luck. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Our first day, and we've already you talked to people, and they're all boring. Always these waiting for you outside the common room. Never a dull minute when I go home for the holidays. <laughs> Gotta practice some magic and eat an apple. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, You'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. My owls? 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 Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave. Career I'm going to have when I can't leave is going to be criminal. Master ...and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. That's a book. Here you are. That's a magic book. Oh my god. Magic. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. I will take it and use it to my full advantage. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. I'm coming. Keep your pants on. Give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Lumos. Revelio. Revelio, everybody's close. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. I try, but I'm trying to also hit you with my spell. Aha! The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. You know that bulls who's sitting on that guy's face and I thought his face was in the bull's butt? Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. The guide says it's a... This portrait depicts the wizard... Barfalo, famed for his brain elixir, an example of, I, mean, I don't even care. That has no stake on the story whatsoever. It's just a random picture. It's a picture of a guy being sat on by a bull. It's kind of bold to me, but you know, it is what it is. Rebellion. Clever, isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside oh, no! of the castle. Oh, <gasps> kitty! There's a kitty. I want to pet the kitty. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Yeah, but there's a kitty here to pet. Class can wait. Kitties can't. Oh. Meow. Goodbye, kitty.
Got some gold out of that. Rebellion. Oh, if you hear a ding anytime you hit Revelio, that is actually a thingy you can. Ah, oh, timing. hold on, she's talking. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map Achoo. of the castle. Oh, I'm sorry, Open I have to flu. Might just be flames. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs Just for you. directly to Central Hall. Ain't time saver for me. That means I gotta put more work in later. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Neat. Always something happening here. It's the heart of Rebellion. the house. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I find if I try to look at you. I just found how yep, there we go. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Oh, and right. I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional <laughs> assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. They should have showed me more. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. Uh, My suspicion uh. is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh... Uh... You told me not to tell anyone. I'm afraid there isn't. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil? Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. He did indeed. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Yeah. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. No. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. I did. Rather hmm. unfortunately, Look, it would seem that looks it looks like I wanted to pet the dragon. Very well. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. <laughs> Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Now, can you explain it a little faster? Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. Okay, I heard that. you, woman. You, and Carol, you talk way too much. To me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. Okay, and okay. We'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. God, you sound like every other teacher I've ever seen. What do you want? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival. You did. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Look, I even yes. suspect well, it, and I was there, and I don't remember anything. And astute witch. It was right to keep I'm just kidding, I remember all. For now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of and she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us understood professor yeah the headmaster don't now, need to know as anything as you are, I he's a jerkwad you possess obliges you to be well trained happily you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide all the teachers talk too Speaking much of guides 
And so that I may avoid another not so subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, uh. why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. <laughs> Okay, let's... You know, I would show off walking around, but I think what we're going to do is I'm going to get to these classes, and then we will probably meet back once the we get there. To oh, help you, find your way. you still won't shut up. <laughs> helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay. Have you ever noticed What's this? It's too dark. Rebellion. Lumos. All right, and I will meet you guys once we get to um the classroom. All right, and we made it to our first class finally. Let's begin the quest. Listen, more teachers talk because all teachers ever do is talk. Oh my God, load. There we go. Stupid. You're all stupid flies. Is that all you've got? Bombard. Levioso. Professor Hecate. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast. I thought it was Leviosa, not Leviosa. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token <laughs> from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, <laughs> many students, but only one skull, so wants to keep the skull, not the student. The largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and live to boast about it. Knowledge. That's a big so skeleton. Matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. What do dark Levioso. wizards are there? Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. Levioso. Oh, opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Proet? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. No. Oh, hold on. We got to learn our new spell. Come on. Levioso, Leviosa, Levioso, Levio, Levitate, you stupid feather. Now tickle the person in front of us. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Now, let's try something a little larger. Do I have to? I guess I'll go first. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Yeah. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Fine. Remember, good. Now, the basic. Well done. I win. Uh, did I finish it off yet? There we go. <laughs> Very good, but the best way to practice is by duel. All right, whose face do I need to kick in? With you two, duelists, oh. take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, I want All right, Sebastian, to... let's go. You and me. Basic cost and Protego. You may begin. Let 
off my table. I know. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about Still for pie. Off my table. Yeah, kicked his face in. Get him off my dang table. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> Inappropriate. I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from That's you. That's because I'm cool. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. Yeah, my cool and my coolness will thing, achieve it. But battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. Mm. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Okay. Well, we have one more class to attend after we speak to Sebastian. Let's talk to him. You got more stuff for me? Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. That's because I am an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student so, to be so deaf. So Sallow. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Uh, it was. I've never used Indeed the one before. It was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. You have an underground dueling ring here? I'm telling the teacher. <laughs> I'm telling her. Unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret <laughs> dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. I'll make sure I infiltrate been. for sure as a professor's Perhaps assistant. Unsanctioned. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Oh, I'm interested. We'll go there eventually. All right. Until next time. Until next time. All right. We'll get to our terms class and I'll see you guys when we get there. All right. Let's begin our quest now, shall we? Hmm. Seems kind of small in here. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. How come I didn't see you in the common room this morning, Hello. huh? I am Nettie. So you are the new student. I am. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? Do you have a crush on Professor <laughs> Ronan? Year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite no i think the girl has a, a crush on him right now everyone please open your textbooks to page 517 but before we begin can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms uh. anyone anyone hmm ah, 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 ah. i am afraid it is too late to study now Mmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing... I just got here, like, another. yesterday. <laughs> so, I can't tell you anything. You remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? Look, I get an excuse. This is my first year here. 
It seems oh, that first we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. One book? I don't even have a book yet. Why do I don't have a book? Does a dragon eat my book too? The nerve of that dragon eating my book. I'm gonna find that dragon and I'm gonna eat him. I tell you what, we're gonna eat a dragon eventually. Akio. Akio, give me the dang book -o. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough. Nope. Match. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and I ain't gonna rival her. I'm gonna surpass her real quick like that. that. Might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. I don't need spots of fresh air. I need spots. Lots of getting out of this class real quick. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> so, Having fun with studies is actually very helpful because it helps you remember. I always remember the fun parts of school. <laughs> really help you have fun studying and learning. But I never remember the boring stuff. You always remember the fun teachers, not the boring ones. <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Okay. Now, spoiler, I played this part, I played this through on Twitch, like, for six hours so far. Mind you, we've done, like, two, three hours worth of exploring, so not much story. So I do know how to get through this quite easily. Excellent control. Now, uh, think of this like gobstone. Splendid! Timing is everything. This last one will get right. Very good. Well, if Beardman would move out the way, I couldn't see. Stay I almost focused. had that. For a beginner, I'm still good, though. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on, Onai. Yeah, come on, Miss Onai. Let's go. You and me right now. Come on. Come on. You'll be the blues just as before. And Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Okay. Yes, it's weird sir. because we're both reds. We're both Gryffindors. You're first, Miss Onai. Watch this. As long as you get like halfway through the orange, you'll actually get it pretty easily. There we go. Come on. Bam. There you go. Just halfway through the orange, and then you stop controlling it, and you let it just roll. Be sharp. Yeah. It's too late. I won. See, I win. A perfect score. Remarkable. I'm amazing. I know. I win summoner's court. Woo! There we go. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? How do we make this more interesting? In the first one, me, when I did this on Twitch, me and her tied the first time. This one, there is no point. I've already won. Interesting at this point. This isn't that interesting. It's actually just wait. It's just timing. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles How does this round settle at all? I've already won. Watch 
That's it. I like it just slightly earlier than I was supposed to. Let us do this. Oh shoot. If she okay, I thought she was gonna knock that it in. Is how it's done. And now. Brilliant. Yeah, come on, beat that. Here we go. Here we go. Yahoo! It's to me, Mario. Oh shoot! I planned that horribly. You know what? It's okay. I'm okay with losing for once. You know what? I beat her the first time. That means we're tied. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. You know, we win some, we lose some. We won one game, we lost what another. Back there? You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. You lost the first one in stride pretty easily, too. With Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. I'm glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. I'm glad we have Didn't another person who's transferred here before to help. Oh wait, that means there's more magic schools than just Hogwarts? We never hear about any of them. I want to hear about the other schools. Screw Hogwarts. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. It was nice to meet you. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. <laughs> and with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. <sighs> of course he does. Keep him waiting. Ah, uh, fine. Let's go talk to the teach. Teach, I didn't Come do on, it. If you wouldn't, Akio and humans. You wanted to so speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. It did. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Expect, expect the unexpected. It makes it fun. Which, take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary. Yep, this way I can actually learn Expect faster. Hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Thank you. All right, well, we finished both classes for today. Who are you? Look like Harry, but kind of stupid looking. All right, I'd like to thank you all for watching this episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Next time, we still have to head into town to get all of our supplies again. So that's what we have looking forward to next time. Until next, until next time, see ya.